Hey, why'd you sniff me? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome back to a new video. I am just vlogging today since I apparently haven't vlogged in two years according to Ryan, which is honestly very accurate. I feel like it's just been forever because I've been traveling and I'll catch you guys up with the past couple of weeks and everything later, but I just showered and put on my new aloe set. I did a Black Friday haul. It should be up by now, so definitely go check that out because I got so much stuff from Aloe. We're going to head out and get breakfast at Capital City Bakery. We literally like passed it yesterday and was like looking at the menu. I was like, oh, it looks good. It's 9.42 and we did not check when these places opened. So the bakery opens at 10 and the matcha place opens at 11. So she said, no, they'll have coffee. Don't worry. What? They're going to have coffee. I know, no, maybe an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, 15 minutes and hopefully the bakery is open and has stuff. Like hopefully they're just baking back there, you know? That's what I think. I guess I'll give my little recap of the past 20 days. Um, so we went back to Georgia. I vlogged you a little bit there. Yeah, I vlogged my birthday, but that's it. Yeah. I vlogged in Georgia. Then I went to Baton Rouge for a work trip. Um, so basically I just did like a photo video shoot, Matterport video, uh, 360 tour, <laughs> drone footage and all like that sort of stuff. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I ate, mm -hmm. I, f I forget babe. You, you remember things in my life more than me. Like I have such bad memory, but anyways, so I went to a sushi restaurant alone. I ate in public alone for like the first time Insert at footage. a restaurant. Insert footage, yes. Um, so that was cool. It was nice because I stayed by the water, so I got to walk around a little bit over there. And then from there, I went straight to Tampa. I vlogged that. I just didn't put it up yet because I'm being a little lazy butt. We went to my friend Sam's wedding in Tampa and I got to see a lot of my college friends there. And then from there, I went to Nashville for a work conference, which I also took photos and videos at. Um, and we stayed at the Gaylord Opryland. So I think they're really known for like their Christmas lights and everything like that. And the place was huge. We like literally got lost every single time we walked out of the conference room. But yeah, so that was like a little recap of everything that's been going on. And that's why I haven't really been um, as active on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and all that. Cause I just literally just did not have time to. But yeah, what else? Tornado hit. Oh yeah, the tornado um, hit Nashville. I left like Friday morning. It hit Nashville Friday. Saturday. It hit morning. Saturday. Like really late Saturday, Friday night. Now we're back in Austin for what are we like? What? Two more days. <laughs> we leave on Wednesday, so tomorrow's Monday. So like four, three more days. Um, and I got a lot of shit to do. Tomorrow is a very exciting day, but I think I'm gonna vlog that separately. What's tomorrow? You know what tomorrow is. Monday. Yes. Everywhere opens really late on Sundays, and I get it, but like, I feel like I love to get up like early, early-ish on the weekends, you know, not to, well, if I'm drinking the night before, obviously not. We looked online at their menu, and they didn't have their breakfast sandwiches, which is what I wanted. But we're hoping that it just like wasn't updated since they like just opened. So we got the breakfast kolache and a jalapeno cheese something kolache. What is the definition of kolache? Dinner roll with meat and or substance inside. It can be sweet or yeah. savory or anything. Thoughts? A lot of bread. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Which one is this one? Mm. The jalapeno and cheese one, I think. Mm. What? It's okay. Yeah. We just got home and before I forget, I want to show you guys our Christmas decorations. They're not much, but it's something. I wasn't really going to put them up just because we are leaving in 
like three days. But I was like, you know what? I might as well just do it because they were sitting in our house for like a year. It's literally just the same as last year. I got this thing and then we have like two little ornaments, cactus, and you guys guessed it, sushi. I don't know why I bought this. It literally is kind of creepy, but I love like anything that's mini. So I got that. We have my other land candle. It smells so good, just like Christmas. And then we have my favorite little guy. Here is Mr. Santa Claus. Look how freaking cute. I love him. And I'm pretty sure we got all of this on sale one year, like after Christmas. And we also have this tree. I didn't really know where to put it. So I just put it right here for now. During Black Friday, I got a new juicer and it's like a really fancy schmancy one. So Ryan had the idea to do like a whole YouTube video and we would like make a juice and see who does the best. So hopefully it's me, but I don't know. We'll see. We just went to H-E-B. We didn't really see what each other bought because he was hiding his stuff. All I saw was like cut up strawberries. I was like, you cheater, you have to cut it up yourself. But I got kale, apples. I'm, I'm just gonna wait till you guys see the whole video because I think I'm just gonna do like a whole separate video. But let me show you the juicer. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is the Nama J2 juicer and Basically, you put all the fruit and vegetables in here and then you can like let it do its thing. Like you don't have to feed it in every second um, and then it juices it. Puts the fruit in here, like the peels and stuff, and then puts the juice over here. So very excited to try it out for the first time. I finally finished filming the juicer video. I just cleaned up everything and now it is time to film um, the rest of my sponsored TikTok. Um, it's actually a hair brand so i put my hair in this bun to make sure that it's still damp i didn't want to air dry it too much i usually use the dyson air wrap like the curler thing but i'm feeling straight hair today and i feel like that might be a little bit faster i think i might put on makeup first and then do my hair so let's do it it's a lot later and i just realized that the whole vlog i didn't even have makeup on so i got ready and filmed the other half of my sponsored tiktok and i think that's probably the last sponsorship of 2021 which is crazy to think that the new year is starting so freaking soon also i just realized that i have not made any reservations for our dallas trip we have six people i need to get on that stat because i feel like bigger parties definitely are harder to accommodate if i didn't already say this we're going to dallas and my college friends are coming into town so i'm really excited and they're bringing their boyfriends this time which will be even more fun because ryan's friends with all of them so it's just going to be like a good group tonight ryan actually made reservations at this place called la piscina we actually went to dinner last night i didn't vlog yesterday but we went to dinner um we tried to get in at the peacock which is in the proper hotel which is where la piscina is la piscina is just near like the pool obviously but we tried to get in at the peacock last night and they said it was like a two hour wait so we were like okay we'll just like walk around outside and then we realized one of the places that was on our bucket list was just like a few streets down and they had a lot of empty tables so we sat in there but it was a kind of a fail because once we ordered they were out of like the one thing we ordered on the freaking menu so we just got like two appetizers and it wasn't like that great which was really really sad because the peacock's food was really good but we got our drinks we sat down at the like other place and of course the peacock texts me and they're like your table's ready and it was like only 20 minutes after i put my name down and i was like are you kidding me <laughs> we thought it was gonna be two hours but it's okay we can always go back to the peacock and honestly if you don't make reservations in austin texas you will not eat dinner <laughs> or you can eat at home that's just how it works here i mean it's been so freaking crowded the past like month or so i don't even remember it being this crowded before covid and i know a ton of people just moved here so that's probably why but it's literally insane but anyways we ended up getting dessert at the peacock which is one of my favorite desserts in austin it's like this toffee pudding bread pudding thingy oh my god it's delicious but tonight we're going to la piscina which i think they're known for like their fajitas a while ago i had a reservation for this place but one of my friends mariana told me it wasn't that good so i canceled it and i think we're just gonna try it out for ourselves because like how bad can fajitas be but i hope this weekend is just like not a bad weekend for food for us because like it's like the only weekend we're here in austin i guess um for december but anyways, yeah, so we're gonna try another new place tonight, which is very exciting. And then after that, we have 
a reservation for Peppermint Parkway, which I feel like is new. I don't remember that ever being a thing. It's on the Circuit of America's racetrack, and it's basically like a drive through Christmas light show and just like a lot of Christmassy stuff over there. They invited me to go. I was like, heck yes, I want to go. Like, I need to get in the spirit of Christmas. So that is going to be fun. So I kind of want to like literally go in my aloe set. Um, did I show you guys this aloe set? I love it. I, my God, I just bumped my freaking finger in the cactus, but I'm good. This aloe set is everything I ever wanted and more. It's like baggy and loose and it's really cute. It has the little aloe logo right here. And I went for straight hair today, which I feel like I never do, but I should do more because I kind of like it. It looks a lot more shiny when it's straight. I literally just put on jeans and I'm going in the sweatshirt and hopefully they don't have a dress code. I feel like even the nicer restaurants here in Austin don't ever really have dress code because it's pretty laid back, which is good and bad sometimes because like sometimes you just like want to dress up, but everyone's just in a t-shirt and it's just the norm. But I love scarves. First of all, they keep you so warm. <laughs> they're very underrated, but they're so cute. I love them and I need to get more. I really want like that big chunky one. I think it's from Urban. Um, I also saw one, dang it, where did I see one? Um, oh, I think it was like Express that had really good ones. But, okay, you ready, Bri? Mm -hmm. What shoes should I wear? Furry Burks? My heels? <laughs> heels? <laughs> All right, there's a lot of trash over there, but for good reasons, all my Black Friday stuff. <laughs> so we have to choose between La Piscina or ATX Cocina. So I'm hoping this lives up to the, the hype because I've read some bad reviews <laughs> saying that they spent 300 bucks there and that you oh. can go to like any oh, shit. restaurant in Austin and get better food or just as good. Oh no. Are we setting us up for another fail? I told him about last night. <laughs> But you know, yeah, it was just expensive for not that much food. I feel like Ryan wants to show how good he is. Will he make it? He did. I really wasn't expecting that. Good job. <laughs> You know where we are? Oh, I know, yeah. You know what is this are? called? The this butterfly bridge. bridge. Butterfly bridge? Why would there be owl statues on a butterfly bridge? No, it's called the owl bridge. Interesting. There's owls right there. I think then the builder probably built this thing too, the crossbow. Oh, I guess it makes sense because it kind of looks like butterfly wings. These are the owl statues I was talking about, but this is where we ate last night the peacock. So freaking good. Down with dinner and came out here it's right outside the restaurant. It's so big now. We're manifesting living in there. It's called the independent, but we call it the jigsaw. jigsaw I call it Miss er, independent. Not jigsaw, what's it called? <laughs> Jenga. Jenga. <laughs> Jenga building. And then over here is Zilker. You can see the trail of lights going on. I did not realize it was that close, but it makes sense because the river is like literally right there. And yeah, that's so, Zilker. Oh, you're too short, probably. Can you see the little bit trees? Yeah, I can see the colorful trees. <laughs> So we just left the restaurant and we decided to, you know, focus our focus our stomachs on the fajitas because we were already getting full. So we were gonna save the quesadilla for lunch tomorrow. 
Guess who forgot the leftovers on the table? Us. And I definitely Us. know they probably, well, I guess me, <laughs> shit. <Us. laughs> and they probably threw it out already, so it's probably not even worth going back to get. It was definitely a nicer meal, so it was pretty expensive. So I feel very, very, very guilty leaving it on the table, but what can you do? So now we're gonna go to Peppermint Parkway. I told Ryan he better have his Christmas playlist on deck. <laughs> Guys, it's Buddy the Elf. Ah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Are you so excited to do the parkway tonight? So excited. It's gonna be so much fun. There's so many Christmas lights, and yes. there's Christmas music, and yes. there's just like Christmas spirit everywhere. There's snowflakes, <laughs> and I've heard that Santa's here. If he you see Santa, be. please tell him that I he love him. He better be. <laughs> Track lab, it says. Oh, that's Candy Cane Lane that way. This is the track lab. Okay. So we're going on the Circuit of America's yes. track? Oh, yeah. Is this cool for you? Yeah, I think so. I've never seen it in my life. I don't know. This is where Formula One happens, right? Yeah. We're on the track. <laughs> and you can see all the lights. This is kind of cool. Damn, look at all those lights. I'm excited to drive through that. Wait, so how fast are we going right now? 32. Yeah, oh. yeah, but 43 at one point. Oh my god. I, f I feel like with all the turns, I feel like with all the turns, it definitely feels like faster. Yeah. Maybe. Imagine going like 160. Oh my god. I would not like that. <laughs> so we drove on the track. Definitely felt a lot faster. Um, but now it is time to go through the peppermint. What is it called? Candy Lane? I don't know. It's very Austin themed. Austin couch potatoes are here. Look at that. It's funny. Who? Oh, that's cute. I love you so much. Ornament. ATX mess up there. Very cute. Here's peppermint. Where's Santa? Now we parked and we're at North Pole Palooza. We're gonna walk around, find Santa, hopefully. <laughs> Get a picture with him maybe. Maybe eat a funnel cake, I don't know. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> All right, we saw funnel cakes, fried Oreos, but now I'm seeing churros. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> We're in line for the smoochin' booth. The mistletoe kissing booth. And this girl, the, the girl that's like hired over here, she's giving everyone a full-on photo shoot. So it's taking a lot longer than we thought it would. <laughs> but now I feel like we've been here for too long that we have to stay. And I want a picture. I've never kissed him under a mistletoe, so. We just took our photo at the kissing booth and it was so awkward. We literally <laughs> waited in line for like, I want to say like 45 minutes legit. And uh, what? It was longer. It that. felt longer. And like this lady was like, I mean, she was like hired by, you know, Peppermint Parkway, I guess. But she was like literally taking 10 minutes per couple getting all the angles, she was like zooming into, I was like, oh, hell no. Like, when people zoom in on the iPhone, I was like, no. <laughs> Tell us where to go, and you like disagree with her, and the whole time she's taking pictures, she's just shaking her head. <laughs> <laughs> took like four pictures, and we said we were done, and she's like offended that we wanted to Yeah, she was like, that's it? And I was like surprised that every other couple before <laughs> us did not cut her off earlier. They were making. I don't even know what to do with like an hour's worth of pictures. <laughs> that had to be like 200 pictures in the camera. Well, not in like a kissing booth photo thing. Uh, like, yeah, an hour like in a regular photo location, okay. But like, that was just very funny and interesting. I mean, like, I appreciate a queen who gets all the <laughs> angles. Trust me, because I'm that I'm that girl for you. But like in a kissing booth, I'm like, I don't, like. Kissing booths are already uncomfortable. Kissing 
someone for a Nothing picture is already uncomfortable. Dirty, like, <laughs> I didn't smell like it. Stuff but like I, dirty, like. Yeah, I did see the film <laughs> stuff where it like, had footprints everywhere. Yeah. But I don't even know if we got like a good picture, but hopefully we did because we waited like 40 minutes. But anyways, we are going home and that was fun, but I I feel like, the yeah, the driving the driving through the lights were really cool. I wish it like lasted longer, but. It's so cold this Oh yeah. But I feel like it'd be cooler if we had kids. We're back home and I'm so ready for bed. Gotta get some rest because I do have like a really busy work day tomorrow, but it is also a very exciting day. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.